Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. It says find the area of the square. Now we're told that each of the rectangles inside of the square have equal areas. If you're gonna try this on your own, pause it right now, because I'm gonna solve it in three, two, one. Since the areas of all five rectangles are equal to each other, that means that each of these rectangles has an area that's one fifth of the entire square. So if I make the square something like x by x, the entire square is going to be x squared. And then each of these rectangles would be x squared divided by five. So that feels like a pretty strong first step. For the next step, out of all of these rectangles, the blue one is the only one that has x entirely as one of its sides. So let's focus on that one. We already know that the height is x. Let's call the base b. We know that the base of b times the height of x is going to be equal to the area x squared over 5. And I want to know what is b in terms of x. So let's divide both sides of the equation by x. On the left hand side these will cancel so we just have b. And on the right hand side you can think of x squared as x times x. And then one of these x's will cancel from top and bottom. So that means b is equal to x over 5 or 1 fifth x. So let's change this b to 1 fifth x. And the same thing for the top it will also be 1 fifth x. And now let's bring back the rest of our square. Each side of this square is equal to x. So if this blue portion is 1 fifth x, that means that the orange portion is going to be 4 fifths x. And now we have all the parts of this orange rectangle, so let's focus on that. And then once again, base times height will equal the area. So we know that the base of 4 fifths x times the height of 3 will equal the area of x squared over 5. So on the left hand side, let's write this as a single fraction. On top, we can do 4 times x times 3, which gives us 12x. And on bottom, we just have the 5. And this is still equal to x squared over 5. Next, we can multiply both sides by 5 over x. And we are allowed to divide by x here because we know x is not equal to 0. On the left hand side, these two 5s cancel each other out, and these two x's cancel each other out. All we have left is 12. And on the right hand side, these two 5s cancel each other out, and x squared over x is just x. So now we know that 12 is equal to x. Going back to our original square, x was the side lengths of the square. So this square is a 12 by 12 square. So to find the area of this square, it's just going to be 12 squared. And 12 squared is equal to 144, and let's give it a label of square units. And this is the answer to our question. The given square has an area of 144 square units. Let's put a box around it. How exciting. If you guys want to try more of these geometry challenge problems, I have this page on andymath.com. There's a link in the description.